Cruz. It's I, James Com. Your half-assed reporter, the guy on the bike. And it's a Sunday evening in early January 2019. I'm gonna sneak in here to the Derek Eller Gallery. And try to get some pictures of an exhibition by E.J. Hauser. Stay tuned. Oh gosh, there's Sharon Butler. Still have some beer. Well, uh, I've been watching the work of EJ now probably for about 12 or 13 years. And uh, I believe you could probably go back in the report and get at least a couple of views of some previous shows and uh, I think she's actually been getting some uh, pretty notable recognition recently and uh, I think a lot of people She's doing some pretty, pretty interesting painting. Well, we'll uh, start a little tour looking at a couple of smaller pieces. This is titled Blue Forest Pocket 2018. Oh, I forgot to mention the title of the show is Barn Spirits. And uh, well, I was looking at my Instagram account and I saw a picture of a barn. I guess there was some art colony that EJ spent time in during the summer. And uh, it's a beautiful wooden structure with all kinds of great beams. And I guess she was saying that that was part of the inspiration for the show. This is titled Blue Mountain Bed, 2018, oil on canvas. Well, I like what uh, EJ's doing here. You know, she does have a great sense of her paint surfaces, and uh, in this case, it's kind of dry, and it almost looks like it's been uh, maybe abraded. And she's got a nice kind of mysterious collection of yeah, good night Marcus a mysterious collection of uh, images that some of them are kind of halfway between text and some kind of figuration the artist I know that she's a little bashful okay. I think we'll start out looking at this one here in the big gallery because as the opening goes on there's gonna be a mob of people in front of us we won't be able to see this or hear anything this is titled Big Pink Barn Spirit on canvas 70 by 55 well as I said I've been following EJ for a while and we've actually even been in a couple of group shows together one of the reasons we were kind of curated into similar enclaves was that uh, EJ was doing 
work that was involving text. And uh, that kind of put us together. I think what I like is that she's using a nice, kind of a unique approach to her drawing. And as I've mentioned before, she's got a kind of a, it's almost like a pixelated brush stroke that she uses. And she does have a kind of a nice, rich but simple palette. Also it's interesting that she likes to work in series, so you might see several versions of a particular format. So this is another pocket piece. This is the Primary Forest Pocket 2018 Oil on Canvas 59 by 39. And so I'm uh, I'm looking at this, and I was talking about the pixelation of the the brush strokes. I asked her about that whether she used a Photoshop or something, she said no, that it was just the way that she uh, was using her brushes. I imagine she's probably using flats. Uh, this piece actually kind of makes me think of a uh, folk weaving. Nice, simple colors, red, yellow, and blue. This is a nice piece too. Big blue mountain bed. And uh, yeah, if you look closely, you can see these nicely gradated dark grays in the back. She's actually got a lot of stuff going on there. It's very subtle. I know that uh, EJ was working with Regina Rex for several years and uh, I guess starting out in Bushwick on Troutman Street they were they were working with her and she I think EJ had a couple of shows with them when they were down on Madison at the very bottom of the Lower East Side so it's nice to see that uh, Derek Eller has picked her up. It's a real nice painter's gallery. I like this, uh, you know, this central form. Get a little, uh, it's an echo of Augustine hooded figure, but I guess this would be a pictures of mountains. The, uh, the staccato strokes. Oh, geez, look, there's Chris Martin and Fong Bui. <laughs> so the painters are out tonight. It's titled Big Forest Pocket 2018, 70 by 55. Well, from a coloristic point of view, you look at this and you realize this is just red, blue, and off-white background, but when you get up a little closer, you can see that there are a lot of variations in the blues, the grays, 
of crossing over the spectrum a little bit, some pinks. Also, it's interesting the way these kind of modulate somewhere between abstraction and some kind of figuration. Okay, it looks like EJ is uh, squeegeeing on or knifing on a nice uh, flat surface here. Okay, when I first got to New York, this kind of surface with a little wax in there was very popular. People were looking at Bryce Martin and uh, he was influencing another group of people like Julian Schnabel and Terry Winters. This might be the most interesting coloristic piece in the show. It's titled The Second Garden Secret. This is 2018. And I may have seen some of the uh, other pieces in the Garden Secret series before. Maybe in her last show. I like the way the, uh, the punchy greens and oranges are laid on this, I think that might be a metallic silver ground, it's almost like gunmetal. feel like this is some kind of a uh, archway through a wall into a hidden garden somewhere. And I like that part right there. This is Blue Wind Blue Star Chart 2018. 59 by 39. Well, I was just uh, talking to some friends about EJ, and I mentioned that EJ is kind of on the bashful side. Okay, this is interesting. So this canvas was actually painted a uh, hot, almost fluorescent red, and then she painted over it in gray. Uh, EJ was so bashful that I went down and I did a report with her and I asked her to come and talk with me and she refused to be on camera. She stood behind my my back and kind of did it all uh, voiceover, kind of the hidden voice. It was funny. And we're going to wrap up looking at this piece. This is another nice piece. It's titled Summer Mountain Bed. So one of the continuing Summer Mountain pieces. Oil on canvas 59 by 39 inches. Well, as I said, I like EJ's color sense, and here's a good example of her use of the kind of the grayed down tertiaries kind of a livery, not exactly a pink, but dirty Naples yellow. Oh, and I like the way the uh, black pixels lay over the gray pixels. James Com reporting on EJ 
J. Hauser, Barn Spirits, here at the Derek Eller Gallery. You can like this, share, recommend it to your friends, you can subscribe, please do. You can leave your thoughts, ideas, criticisms, and suggestions below. But what we always ask you folks at the end of these episodes is to say, thank you, Kate. Thank you, Kate. Oh, thank you.